Hello friends, Heather here, and I am back with the third part to my Traveler's Notebook journal cover. So I've got some roses going on here while well, they're base coated in, and um, hopefully this video is going to finish those up. So I just want to make note that um, it is really dark in my basement, and I um, and the colors don't quite look the same, but when I get done, I'll take pictures so you'll be able to see what everything looks like. So I just wanted to show you, um, let's say you goof and you don't really like your little rose buds because they're not quite big enough. That's okay. I'm just going to load my brush with just, actually even just pink, not even any white. And I just have an angle or a um, flat brush. And I'm just going to kind of come in here and extend it. As long as you get the shape, that's all that matters. There you go. It'll probably take a couple coats, of course, because you know it's um not totally opaque. And I'm gonna do the same thing down here. And that's pretty much because I used the big brush the first time. If I used a smaller brush, it wouldn't have covered up as much um of my rose buds here. So we'll just go like that. Yeah, this one's more paint. Call that good. Let that dry and put in another layer. So, all right. So now I'm going to go ahead and get started on my roses themselves. So, I got some red paint. I got my pink. I'm just going to do like red and pink paint. Fun, fun, fun. Maybe. Oh, I could have sworn one of these was open. And apparently this one I had was open. All right. And of course I'm just doing all these videos right in a row. I'm not really like taking them and doing them a different day. And so I'm still too lazy to go upstairs and get myself a palette or anything like that. So I just got my medium pink color and I got a red color. I'm going to mix them together and I'm just going to do some pretty much, I call them quick and dirty roses because they're not you know I don't they're not super lifelike they're not realism they're just quick and pretty yeah, they'll work so alrighty so I'm gonna put the pink on the toe of my brush and then I'm gonna put the red on the heel and I'm going to come over here and do some blending. And I got a whole lot of pink on my brush. I must have got like a clump. So let's see. Yeah, that's looking kind of pretty on the... Oops, look at that. I just goofed. That's funny because I was too busy talking. So um, I was busy talking and not looking at what I was doing. All right. Now I'm going to go in. And I think I'll do, I think I'm going to do the bottom one first. I don't know. All right. And nothing fancy here. I'm just, like I said, I'm just going to kind of come in and do a few layers. I'm going to add a little water to my brush. Just a little. Grab some more paint. Come back in. Grab some more. It would be much easier if you had like a actual palette or something. And come in and just make a couple little marks like this. Grab some more paint. More red. Okay. And then I'm going to come here. And I'm going to close that up. Okay, I'm going to do another one. So I'm kind of starting on the chisel here. Coming down and coming across and then closing. All right. 
light and then I just kind of fiddle around with these until I get them so they look kind of halfway decent. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. So each time I'm just picking up more paint. And this last one here, I'm just going to. There we go. And then I will come back like in and, you know, touch these up a little bit. So. There we go. That. All right. I'm going to go ahead and do um, the rows at the top now. some reason it's really hard for me to talk and paint at the same time. I think that's so funny. So when my kids were younger, um, like Caleb, my 20 year old, well, he's almost 20. Um, I can't remember if he was like in first grade or second grade. I can't remember what grade, but, um, I painted bookmarks for Valentine's day for all the girls and the boys in his class. And, um, cause they were really trying to push reading at the time and get everybody into it. And so, um, on the girls, I painted little rosebuds. So it's just like a little paper bookmark. And on the boys, I did, oops, look at that. There I go again, goofing, because I was talking. But, um, and on the boys, I did Spider-Man spiders. So it'll be comical, because I'll walk through the high school, and I'll have girls come up to me. Um, not so much anymore, but like when my son was still in high school. But my younger son, I did the same thing for his class, too. And they, um... They'll say, oh, Mrs. Hudson, I still got that cool um, bookmark you painted me. And I just think, oh, my goodness. It's like so long ago. But, you know, it's kind of cool that they kept it. So, got to love kids. They're pretty awesome. So, if you don't got any little kids, you can always volunteer to work with scouts. It's a lot of fun. All right, and I'm going to put in one more. There we go. And I'm debating here what I want to do right there. If I want to add another one to kind of close up that gap, which I may. I may just do that. So maybe I'll make this one a little bigger. And do the same here with this one. There we go. Much better. Much, much better. Cool beans. All right. So that's going to work out for now. Let's see. I'm going to put another little coat of pink. Let's look at my pink out here. 
as soon as I figure out where I put my brush, there we go. Getting all the excess water out of that and just get some pink. over here these are pretty much like just little oval shapes nothing fancy you don't gotta get fancy don't worry about it and you could paint these and you could just do the rose or the rose buds and they're like super easy um, and you could do them pretty quick and um, Christmas bulbs and give them to your friend as a gift for Christmas all right so I'll be right back I'm gonna dry things up All right, I have my small angle brush again, and I'm just gonna um, load some of the uh, dark green onto the heel, actually the toe of my brush. There we go. Just get enough here. And I'm gonna come in and do a little shading here on these buds. So let me get this out of the way. And I will, I'll zoom in. It's just that unfortunately I know the color will be Oh, I guess it's not so bad. All right. So, might not see what I'm doing. I'm just pretty much loading up some more paint on my brush. See? There we go. And again, I turn my piece so it's easier to work on. And I'm just going to come in and kind of do this little C shape again. You can use your little whoops, mop brush to mop that up. Change it up a little bit. And again, just getting rid of the excess water. Getting some green paint over here. And I'm just pretty much the whole idea is you want a lot of paint at one end of the brush and it like you know, radiates out or gradiates out to uh, like none at the other end. I think I just put too much on there, so I'm gonna redo that real quick. So that paint's kind of almost dry, so but I'm really too lazy to get the bottle and do it again. So here we go. And see, there's like a little puddle. I don't know if you can see it sitting on my the ferrule in my brush, but that'll cause me a nightmare. So I'm just going to soak that up real quick. And go back to my piece. And let's see. I'm going to do the other side. And I'm going to do uh, this one. Same here. Get some more paint. Just load in the brush the same way. Add a little more. And then I'm going to come over and do these other ones. So, find them. There they are. Okay. And this is another one of those where you got to decide which one's going to be in front, which one's going to be back, and I'm getting green paint on the other side, which is all right because I think I must got that on there earlier. Didn't pay attention. Not like it really matters. I'll just cover it up with something. And then one more here. All right. I'm getting a little more water. Getting rid of the excess again. Picking up some more paint on my brush on the toe. And then I'm going to come back up here to the top. Oops, and I just made a big mess. 
So, which, I mean, that's nothing new. So, just gotta get my stuff out of the way since I zoomed in so much. And this time, let's see if I can, I gotta get my little palette out of the way here. So, there we go. So you can see, I'm gonna do the little bottom parts here. So, let's kind of come up. And even if it comes off the edge, that's okay, because it just kind of gives it a little look like, hey, it's a little extra leaf hanging. All right, and I'm going to do the same. Grab some more paint. A lot of water in there this time, but that's all right. I'm going to make it do. I'm going to make it work. All right. And I'm going to go like that. There you go. And the other one, you really can't see it so much. So, and I think I'll have to I'll come back in and make that a little bit stronger um, color on my um, stem. And I'm going to do the same one more time here. Loading my brush. And I'm going to come back up to these here. And I'm just going to, like where I'd put the stem, just going to put a little bit of dark on there. And that way, kind of makes them uh, stand out a little bit more. It looks shaded. All right. This is actually looking pretty good. So, um... We don't really need to do anything else, but since I do have a lighter color green, we could go ahead and do a little tiny bit of highlighting maybe on the leaves. Just for fun, why not, right? Right, okay. So I will use, I think I'll use the color that I had originally thought that I had, or that I was gonna base coat my leaves with and I didn't, but that's okay. So let me, well, I guess I'll, uh, I'll just leave it the way it is. I'm going to get my big angle brush out again. I'm just going to clean it out real quick because it's got a ton of pink and white paint in it. And oops, I'm going to pick up some green. That's the lighter color. And I'm just doing the same exact same thing I just did with the smaller brush and the other green. I'm just using a bigger green and I can tell I'm going to need a little bit water because I got rid of way too much. So hopefully this will be about right. Yeah, that feels good. After a while, it just, you can, you can tell by touch and the way it looks when you're doing it. So, alrighty. I'm just going to do like a really simple, like highlight here. And use your mop brush to kind of give it a little softer edge. So and if you wanted you could um, actually come in and do the whole tip. So, I'm going to get a little more water, and I'm going to just load my brush again, same way I've been doing, and I'm going to get the rest of the leaves here. know that you can tell much of a difference on the camera but you can tell for sure on the actual painting grab my mop brush for fun and just give that a little there we go and one of the little hairs just came out it's on here you can't really see it but once it dries you can just pick it out so no big deal 
All right, I'm gonna do this one. And I think I'm gonna actually come in this way and get more of the whole thing here. Oops, might help if I did it so you can actually see. So I just did this. I'm taking my brush, just softening things up, grabbing a little more paint, blending it on my palette, and now I'm going to do the same thing here. Beautiful, beautiful. I might do one more coat on this and just make it stand out just a tad bit more. All right, and I guess I'll go back up to this first one. I only did like one side, so let's add a little of the highlight to the other side too. All right, and let's say just for fun, you want to get a little fancier um, on your leaf here. You would always grab a tiny bit of red on your pit. I cleaned it off and just grabbed a little bit of red. And you could come over and give it what I like to call like a tint. So, you know, like as if, you know, another color is kind of reflection off it. But sometimes you can find, you know, the leaves have like a little bit of a red tint to them. So I'm just going to do it. You know, uh, throw a little on here. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to do all of them, but I'll just do a little on these here. And you want to kind of make sure it's pretty soft. Um, That one turned out really good. All right, now I guess I better do some one at the bottom because that would be kind of funny if I didn't have at least one with something on it. So I'll do it on. I'll do it on this one here. I think you can see it. Okay. You can just keep going and going and going and add all kinds of things all day. So now. What we're going to do is I'm going to add some shading to my rose buds. So I'm just going to use this big brush. You can use the flat. You can use the smaller one. It doesn't matter, the smaller angle. Um, and you're just going to load it just like I have been the whole time, just the toe of the brush. And you're going to go like that. I got a lot of water in there this time. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back in here and just shade. So you can tell I got a lot of water that time. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of some of it. There we go. And just get some more. Come in. Oops. Can't see me. There we go. Do this one. And then I'm gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm not waiting for anything to dry. I'm just gonna come in and do a little C shape there. And that gives it the, hey, look, it's a bud. <laughs> you know, kind of fun. And I'm gonna do the same thing here. Now I have two buds. See? All right, I'm gonna go up here, do that same thing again. So I'm just getting more water on my brush, getting rid of the excess, and coming back around my palette, picking up the red paint and loading just the toe. And now I'm going to go in, oops, whoops, and simply just kind of make this little shadow. 
here and then come back and make it a bud. So a little bit too much water on that one, but let's say you goof like I just did. You just use your finger and get get some of that out of there. Give it a little thing, still kind of wet. Just go back in and fix it up. And I had do the same here. And then um, I gotta get more paint, obviously, here. Okay. I'm gonna come in and give this one a make it a bud. And same with that one. Perfecto. Yay, yay. All right, now we can add some um, detail here to the roses as well. So I'm just going to use that same color. I'm going to load my brush the same way. And um, I'm just going to come in. Oops, set my head, hand in some wet paint there. And just kind of make that a little bit darker. Really, it's, it's pretty much it's kind of dark dark enough. Sometimes you lose the shading. Um, like I could add this here. You can see how it kind of brings it back to a um, lighter color and then the darker. So let's see. I'm going to do the same right here. Let's darken that up a tiny bit. And that looks good. Okay, so I think I'm going to add like a little bit of white now, and I'm going to do the same thing I've been doing here with just the toe of my brush, and um, I'm going to grab some white paint. Of course, my white paint is too dry, so I'm going to have to find my white paint. All right, get some more. Okay, and I'm going to do the same thing I've been doing, and just load some white um, the toe here, and just kind of add some little strokes in here, get some more white paint. Oh, I forgot that I painted that so it was still wet. Bummer. All right, doesn't really matter though. Um, but now my brush has got red paint in it. All right, so maybe actually I'll let that dry and I will do another video um, and we'll finish up the roses. Let me go ahead and zoom out here. And we'll call that good for this one because that one's like it's 17 minutes, way too long. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.